When I started with machine learning eight years ago, machine learning course on Coursera was the only available course and it was for free. So it is very easy to get started. Fast forward to 2024, there are tons of courses, blogs and newsletters making the learning process overwhelming. So I've created a five step roadmap for anyone who's interested in a technical career in machine learning. I've mainly focused on free courses, particularly YouTube, so that anyone with the time and motivation can kickstart a career in machine learning. I've also balanced between theory and hands-on so that you can learn by doing rather than simply sitting through those videos. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to mathematics with only high school level skills, then I assume you are a beginner. Under mathematics, you need to learn only four topics. They are linear algebra, property theory and statistics, convex optimization and basic calculus. Let's start with linear algebra as it's the most important element in machine learning. And one of the best courses for linear algebra is the Gilbert Stanks linear algebra course. If you don't have that level of patience to sit through all the videos, then you can choose to do the two blue, one brown playlist from YouTube. And the playlist name is Essence of Linear Algebra. Next comes probability. Here you can start with the introduction to probability from MIT, or you can try the probability theory video series from the Bright Side of Mathematics YouTube channel. If you find those overwhelming, then you can sit through the Khan Academy course and do the course on probability and statistics. After probability, it's worth having some fundamentals about calculus. You don't have to go too deep into calculus, but just high level knowledge on differentiation and multivariate calculus is more than enough to, to be a beginner. And so I would go through the differential equations on multivariate calculus course by Khan Academy. Last but not the least, whenever we talk about loss functions and stuff in machine learning and deep learning, it demands knowledge of convex optimization. And there's a nice course from Stanford University and the videos for which are available on YouTube. So it might be worth listening to those videos to get up to date with convex optimization. Now, if you're a math wizard or have a degree in mathematics, then you probably already know all of these, but you need to improve your programming skills in Python. Though you may choose between Python, R, or even C++, it's best to learn Python as almost all machine learning libraries these days are developed in Python. Again, assuming you are a beginner, there are numerous courses on YouTube that help you go through the beginner stage all the way to the advanced programmer stage. As a beginner, I would begin with this one hour Python for beginners video to understand the main syntaxes, looping and lists in Python. Soon after this, I would go through the Khan Academy course on Python to get a further understanding about the different data structures. Talking of data structures and data types, it's better to go through the first part of this five hour course by Patrick. By now, you would have gained fundamental Python skills and should be dying to get your hands dirty by programming. At this point in time, I would start preparing for coding interviews. All good companies hire for ML roles, at least with one round of coding interviews. So to strengthen and grow your Python skills, it's better to start getting your hands dirty by doing some lead code exercises. You can simply register and start working on the coding exercises. You can begin with uh, beginner level programs and move on to intermediate ones. If you're able to consistently crack the intermediate level problems, that indicates that you're ready for coding interviews. Not all problems are free of cost, but the free ones are more than enough to get you a good job in a prestigious tech company. Now, as I improve with Python skills, parallelly, I would start learning machine learning concepts and ideas. For this, I would start with this machine learning course for beginners from FreeCodeCamp. It covers some essential concepts like supervised versus unsupervised learning, linear and logistic regression, etc. The good news is that it's quite hands-on and you will learn practical skills along the way and also put to use your Python programming skills that you have been learning and practicing on LeetCode. 
combine some fun and song along with your learning, I'll go through this nice machine learning fundamentals video series by StatQuest. There's also a very good long video about the machine learning fundamentals from Krish Nayak. When you're done with learning the basic machine learning courses about, along with the four libraries, namely NumPy, Pandas, SciPy, Matplotlib, you're in a good position to get started in the industry. When you're done with learning the basic machine learning course about, you are now in a position to learn neural networks. Firstly, you'll have to choose between PyTorch or TensorFlow with Keras, which are the two leading libraries to do uh, deep learning. I'm personally a fan of PyTorch due to the ease of coding and the community support is fantastic. So if I go down the PyTorch route, then I really like this deep learning fundamentals course from Lightning AI. The first four units are catered for PyTorch without using Lightning and there's a nice balance between theory and hands-on. If you rather wish to have it all in one video without going too much in depth, then there's a four and a half hour video from Patrick about doing deep learning with PyTorch. If you wish to go down the TensorFlow with Keras route, then there's a deep learning course from Code Basics. What would be the route you take? You'll now have enough fundamentals about neural networks. You are now free to choose between three specializations, namely data science, natural language processing and computer vision entirely based on the nature of data that you want to be working with. For example, NLP experts work a lot with text data, but computer vision experts work a lot with images and videos and other visual data. If you wish to go down the time series or tabular data route, then it's important to strengthen the essential Python data science packages, which are NumPy, Pandas, scikit-learn and matplotlib. There are some good YouTube tutorials on each of these libraries. There's a crash course by Neural9 or NumPy, which I found to be quite concise and useful. The video starts from installation and goes all the way till concatenating, stacking, splitting and aggregation functions, which is more than enough to get going with NumPy. For scikit-learn, there's a two-hour scikit-learn crash course from FreeCodeCamp, which once again starts with piping, pre-processing, metrics, meta estimators, and human learn. For pandas, I would go through two videos which are quite useful. One is the complete Python pandas data science tutorial by Keith Galley, and the other is a short but precise crash course on pandas for data science in 20 minutes. If you wish to go in detail, then there's a detailed course by Corey Schaffer, which starts from installation and loading data and goes through sorting, grouping, and aggregation. For Matplotlib, there's once again a one hour crash course from Neural9 and will do justice to quickly learn the basics of plotting right from simple plots to pretty plots. And once you have a good understanding of these four packages, again, namely NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, and Matplotlib, it's better to get your hands dirty by doing an end-to-end -end project right from preparing the data to training the model and evaluating it. For this, there's a fantastic video from Mosh, which is quite hands-on and gives you a real feel for what you'd be doing on your day as a data scientist. Now, if you decide to be an expert in natural language processing, then you'd have to learn the fundamentals of NLP. Then recurrent neural networks, and lastly, transformers. To begin with the theoretical concepts, I would follow the Stanford University's NLP course on YouTube. It gives an overview of foundations such as Wurzbeck, recurrent neural networks, and transformers. But to, to learn the basics of NLP, there's also a full YouTube playlist from Code Basics that's delivered in three seasons. Now it starts right from the fundamental concepts and takes us all the way till building a chatbot. So the course is quite hands-on and also quite practical. 
When it comes to NLP, the main Python packages to learn include NLPK and Spacey. If you wish to strengthen your skills further in these two libraries, I came across this wonderful three hour NLP course with Spacey for beginners. It starts with an overview of NLP and goes all the way to applied Spacey on financial data. You can also learn NLTK as an alternative to Spacey or to go along with Spacey. I found this video series on NLTK for natural language processing to be quite hands-on and useful. It starts with tokenizing words and sentences and goes all the way to Twitter sentiment analysis, which is a nice application of NLP. The four recurrent neural networks, I found a nice one-hour video from DataQuest that walks through the implementation with just NumPy. Once we are familiar with the NLP concepts and recurrent neural networks, I would probably get started with the transformers at this stage. I believe no one can get started with transformers without this fantastic video that clearly illustrates and explains the transformers architecture. Now, after getting an overview of the transformers, I would straight away jump into getting my hands dirty by implementing the transformers myself. For this, there's an amazing playlist called Transformers from Scratch by Code Emporium and it's about building a translator with a transformer architecture. I find the videos from Code Emporium to be extremely clear and I myself am subscribed to this as it's sometime I get to learn from Ajay, the content creator. If you decide to be a computer vision expert, then you'll have to learn about convolutional neural networks and computer vision in general. For this, there's the course from Stanford University and University of Berkeley. One course that particularly stands out to me is the Stanford Computer Vision course, which starts from the image classification and goes all the way through con convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks, and finally introduces reinforcement learning and generative models. There's also the deep learning AI videos on YouTube. Now, one drawback of all these courses is that it delivers a lot of theory over and over without any hands-on exercises or the hands-on exercises are hidden behind a login. So if you wish to learn CNN implementation on YouTube, then I found this video series from Coding Lane to be quite useful. With that additional knowledge of CNN along with Transformers, I think you can start applying for computer vision jobs already and kickstart your career in computer vision. I know generative AI is catching up fast, but in my opinion, knowledge of generative AI is not a prerequisite as long as you're strong in the fundamentals of machine learning and neural networks. Particularly, if you know how to train a neural network uh, for a given problem and for a given data. I hope that was useful and I've also shared all the resources in a GitHub repository the link for which I've shared in the description. So feel free to star, clone and go through the videos and even contribute to the repo to add more content uh, in one central location. And let the learning begin and I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care.